Psalm 91, Safety of Abiding in the Presence of God. Verse 1 from the New King James. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I will trust. Verse 3. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near to you. Only your eyes, only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join with me and agree with me in prayer. Um, Dear Heavenly Father, we uh, love you and we praise you and we glorify your name. We give you the glory, honor, and praise that is due your name. You are the Most High God. You are the worthy uh, Lamb of God and you are a Holy Father. And I love you because you first loved me. I give you all the praise, glory, and honor that's due your name. I bless your name this morning. This morning is Thursday, February 23rd, 2022. Um, I I know I am not a perfect person. I fall short. I um, think things that I shouldn't think. Please forgive me, Father, for um, all my sin, known or unknown. Um, And... I thank you for your forgiveness in Jesus Christ. I thank you um, that you are a good, good father. I thank you that you, your word is chasing me down with your goodness and grace all the days of my life. My prayer is um, today for your safety and protection over the people of Ukraine. Um, I do pray that you would have your hand upon them and especially for your hand to be upon all of my true brothers and sisters um, in the faith of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and um, yes, yeah, strengthen each one of us in our inner being, and I pray, Father, um, if there's anyone out there who does not yet know you or has not yet come to a full faith in Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let him or her um, say yes to Jesus and um, no to sin, and uh and receive Christ as Lord and Savior, and um, repent of any and all sin, and walk in the fullness of all that you have for us, Lord God Almighty. So, um, thank you for your word, thank you for your holy book, your holy word. Um, I love you because you first loved me, Lord, and uh, bless each person who is listening and who has a heart open to you, God. Um And if they do not have a heart that is open to you, I pray, Lord, that they would quickly, um, may they quickly have a heart open to you. And um, I pray this all in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you for your goodness in my life. Thank you for all of your provision. You have never failed me. And um, you are a faithful God. You are a faithful Father. Thank you for being a faithful God. Thank you for being a faithful father. Thank you for who you are, all that you've done, all that you are going to do. Amen.
This was a reading from Psalm 91, and um, I encourage the listener to, um, you know, get in the Word of God, and like I'm doing this morning, and um, continue to think about what you're reading. Continue to think about the goodness of Jesus Christ, who shed his blood for us in order that we might have eternal life. The Bible says, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross. So if you're in Christ today, or if you're thinking about coming to Christ today, you know what? Do it. You won't be, you won't, um, you won't be sorry. You will welcome you with open arms and um, tell him, First John 1, 9, you know, it says, the Bible says in First John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You can do that today and every day. And I live in that place. Or, um, yeah, off and on, I live in that place where I, you know, I speak to the Lord and I let him know I'm a sinner and I need his help. So, um, okay, thank you for listening this morning. And again, I just want to encourage you in the Lord. Um, okay, greetings from Southern California.